Welcome to Let's Play so uh, let us let us play some of the Catamites games. So if you don't know who the Catamites is, he's the guy who made the Space Funeral and um the one and only Goblet Grotto. And of course we can't forget about the family the family classic Murder Dog Four. And he's also made hundreds, well, maybe hundreds, uh, I think like 56. <coughs> Sorry, I got like a cold numb. Of some the small games. Um, so I'm going to play some of those. Yeah, I'm trying to make this sound uh, interesting, but... Maybe it'll be boring, I don't know. Okay, so let's play some Creamers. Creamer Z. Another great day in Taffy City. The Creamers are relaxing at their favorite location outside the Creamer store. Listen, I want to get together with all the all the Creamers. Want to see you all. You have the power to do anything. I believe you. I don't know where I'm going. I just want to drift. Don't mind me. To the beach. I'm melting in the sun. Don't mind me, babe. I love that you're so open about it. You just seem so relaxed. I don't usually let myself go in the moment. I'm really enjoying this. Please don't scoop me up. I just want to lie here. I'm sorry. Location. Creamers. TM. Store. X. I'm doing my quest. It's, it's going really positive. Keep leaving with all your heart. I know you can do it. You're refreshing alive now. I think that's fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to interrupt. I just want to be a good person. Dipped in chocolate, nice and crisp. You're so sweet. I can't believe we never talked before. I always saw you around but was too shy to say hi. I'm just so happy that we're all together. I don't want to make a big deal out of anything, but I'm just really happy. You too can join the Creamers. Nine amazing flavors available now in stores around the country. Remove both the eyes before you're eating your Creamers. Alright, next game. <laughs> Once out of nature I shall never take. I forget how to do this. Hold on, let me try this again. There we go. My bodily form from any natural thing. But some unstable concatenation of every neighborhood I've ever dreamed of living in. Outer Plants, Valley Fremont Ocean Temple, song lyrics, album covers. The glimpse alien every day of American movies. Hissing sprinklers, summer lot, lawns, solid. Cars, Michael Myers. <laughs> in windows as you walk home in the dark, the satellite. Worlds of relatives, the girls and girls next door, the boys. And boys next door, C Kirsten Dunst and Spider-Man, the last house on the left, Lonely Avenue. I used to lose years. I used to lose years in waves of mingled desire and regret at the idea of different forms of the everyday, which I could never experience from within. Over time, though, 
the imagery of these places, the American suburb, the city at midnight, the canal network, the quarry, the unexplored planet, became integrated and familiar parts of my psychic landscape, which I would touch on or gloss over with the same vague indifference with which I pass through neighborhoods on my way to work and back. I'm always at home. I find I pay less attention to what people are telling me. the end. <laughs> Alright, let's just say that's the end. Next game. Dracula's Castle! Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't think this is going to work on a virtual machine. Yeah, it seems to be bugged. Hold on. I can fix this. I can I can fix this. Here we go. You made it this far, kid, but don't get cocky. Dracula could be around every corner. Your true spirit lets you fire blood crystals with space to totally destroy the evil Dracula. Watch out, it's Dracula! I love this music. Which is the real Dracula? Ricardo, please help me. Oh god, they're coming from the darkness. Okay, that was, that was Dracula. <laughs> Dracula's castle. Okay, we're back. Escape from Death Mountain. Oops. Hold on. Well, I guess you'll just have to watch like this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Look, it's Andy. Amazo. Scientific guinea pig and all around nifty guy. Today's mission, to enter the afterlife itself. To slip the surly bonds of earth and touch the face of God or death or whatever. Unfortunately, Andy's boss has decided to cut costs and send him to the afterlife the old fashioned way. By killing him. Now Andy is trapped in the netherworld. His only hope of salvation? Achieve the impossible and. Escape from Death Mountain. You'll have to deal with that flickering, I, I don't know. I ain't some professional. Man, I am I glad to see you. It feels like I've been dead for weeks now. Fuck you, I've been busy. You don't think I've got other things to do than hang around? Working on your case? No, I didn't mean. I've got three jobs. I haven't slept in a month. I finally came home yesterday and my kids didn't recognize me anymore. Penfield, I. They thought I was there to disconnect the phone lines. Penfield, I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything by it. It was just an offhand comment. You're wrong, Andy. 
You haven't done anything wrong here. I'm just a little on edge, you know? I'm sorry for yelling at you. No harm done, pal. Although it would make my life a lot easier if you withdrew your appeal. I know that hope springs eternal and all that, but face it. There's just no way you're getting back to the land of the living. Oh, I, f I clicked too fast. I'd make a terrible moth. Come on, Penfield. I have to get out of this somehow. Can't you at least try? Sigh. So, uh, yeah, alright, I'll give it a shot. Just don't expect miracles. Especially since Vinnie Vermillo is prosecuting here. What? Who's Vinnie Vermillo? Oh, he's big time. He made his name doing all those Nazi generals executed at Nuremberg. I'm not sure why he's even bothering with you, frankly, but it's your loss. Anyway, I better get going. I'll be going over your case with Vermilla before the waiting starts, so drop by his office whenever you get a chance. Alright. Man, those are some crummy walls. I thought the afterlife would be guilt all the way, but everything here looks like it was made by a blind guy with no hands. <coughs> I'm not sure how you interact with the wall, but it sounds like it'd be painful. Hello? Nothing. I'd make a walls have ears joke, but I still have some shred of self-respect. It's a perverse caricature of a bench. No thanks, I get hemorrhage just looking at it. That's dumb, you're dumb. I'm not gonna talk to a bench for your depraved amusement. Man, the view from this window is incredible. It would probably change someone's life if they could see it. I can't get over how great this view is. <laughs> That's just some good humor right there. Nah, I want hurling myself from the window to be the absolute last resource resource of getting out of here. Can't even talk to it. Why would I want to talk to a magazine? Helpful brochures for the recently diseased. Loving discorporeality. Men are from Mars and ghosts are also from Mars. And the five stages are for pussies. Man up and stop crying already. I better leave them here for the next guy so he too can learn to love discorporeal reality. Okay. I forget this guy's name already. Andy? He's Andy, right? Alright. Let's go. <coughs> Whoa, massive death, ma death mountain. Alright, where are we gonna go? Uh, so we're in the reception. <laughs> Let's go to the archives. This is a lot of books. That's it. That's all I have to say on the subject. <laughs> I'm not sure what they're made of, but they don't seem that sturdy. I'm not touching those things. They'll probably come down right on top of me. If I want to find out something, I'd probably be better off reading the books scattered all over the ground rather than talking to a cardboard bookcase. It looks like a 50-foot bookcase made of cardboard and pieces of lint. I'm not sure if I'm actually able to die in this place, but I don't feel like poking around in this the giant unstable bookcase until I find out. What? What kind of suggestion is that? Why would I want to talk to a bookcase? Folders containing the life details of people who've died. This one's about a guy who died in a hoverboat accident, which is ironic since he was well known for his favorite saying. I am 100% certain that I will never die in a hoverboat accident. <coughs> yep. Nah, they'd only remind me of my own mortality, which would be kind of pointless on a whole lot of levels. Their tattered pages say more than mere words could ever. That line actually sounds pretty cool, but only if you don't think about it for too long. There's one about a woman who learned the harsh truth behind the ancient proverb. Objects in the mirror may be closer than they appear. I don't want to get into the specifics, but it involved bears. Okay. 
I'm pretty sure that this dude's death was ripped off directly from the ending of Shane. There's one about another guy who died in a hell of a road accident, what the hell? <laughs> it looks like some of these books are so old that they dissolved into corrosive book paste. I don't know if that even makes sense, but I'm sticking with it regardless. I think they better dissolve my pockets, I better leave the goo here. Oh man, what if the glue became sentient and is capable of using the corroded books that make up its body to form a crude simulation of human speech? It's a long shot, sure, but I'd better not risk it. I think talking to sentient gum would permanently scar my mind and value system. <coughs> this girl was viciously beaten to death by Johnny Depp on a deserted pier. Man. Now I really have to get back, so I can expose the grisly truth behind his boyish visage. Visage. Okay, I still says the same. Crushed by a falling cow. Fuck you, Earthworm Jim. You made cheap slap stick out of unsung tragedy. Yeah, I saw that one already. Uh, I, I think they're random. I think we solved them already. Alright. I'm not sure what they're made of, but they don't seem that sturdy. I'm not touching those things. So okay, they already said that. To the Room of Judgment. Wow, this place looks nice. Man, that is a really cool machine. I don't know what it does, but that doesn't stop me from appreciating it on a whole lot of levels. Most of this stuff is way over my head, but from what I can tell by looking at this thing, I think you're supposed to put some kind of folder or envelope in the little box in the front. Hello there, Mr. Machine thingy. Hello there, Andy. It's me, Mr. Machine. No, I'm just messing with you. The machine didn't actually say that. Okay. You know, I kind of expected a more impressive looking scale for the judgment of souls, like maybe a giant gold version of that one the blind chick in the courthouse lobby holds. <laughs> uh, I don't feel like putting my immortal soul to the ultimate judgment right now. Maybe if there was some way to rig the scales. The scales don't seem particularly talkative. And even if they were, I bet they'd be really stuck up in stuff. It's a robot. He looks pretty primitive too. But I kinda admire that in a robot. I got no patience for those slick dudes with the plastic heads, but if you show me a lurching steel colossus with pincers for hands, then I know where I stand. I'm pretty sure the robot could take me in a fight if it came to it. I don't know, he doesn't seem particularly aggressive, but I get the feeling that he won't hesitate to bust some skulls if it comes down to it. Awesome, a robot! How do you do, Andy Amazo? How do you know my name? It is written on the front of your shirt. No, it's not. Then I guess I just read your file. Where? Who are you? I am Robot. It is my job to calibrate and maintain the scales of judgment. <laughs> the what? The big lumpy thing in the middle of the room. <coughs> Who made you? I was built by a Victorian science hero in return for another few years of life. He, he built me for magnets, clockwork, and old shoes. <coughs> so you're pretty old school, huh? There is no school like the old school. Wait, so a Victorian dude managed to get you a free pass just because he built you? 
that is correct. So if I can build something these guys need, then they might give me a free pass, right? Yes. Alright, so do you guys need anything built? How are you with air conditioner repair? Not too good. That is a shame. Alright. Tell me about the, uh, I mean, tell me about the scales of judgment. They are used to weigh the souls of the dead. If the weight of a person's soul exceeds the weight of their ultimate potential, then they go to purgatory or even hell. Otherwise, they can go back to the land of the living. Really? Yes, but I wouldn't hold my breath if I were you, Clang. Wait, my file? Of course, I also oversee the sorting device in the corner. We use that to examine the file containing all the actions of a person's life. The judgment is usually based on the amount and severity of sins detected by the machine. It is not precise, unfortunately, so if the machine fails to give a proper reading, then we use the more delicate scales. Don't you ever get bored just standing here? Bzz, of course not, I am programmed to serve, to serve, to serve. You seem unhappy, why are you unhappy? I am not unhappy, I am a robot, I do not have emotions. Come on, it must be something. Well, if you must know, I have been struggling with a deep and important issue recently. Don't tell me, let me guess. What is the meaning of life? What do I care about life? I'm a robot. <coughs> what is this human thing called friendship? Do not toy with me. How can we reconcile the concept of a fair and loving God with the continuing existence of Roger Whittaker? That question is only valid if we assume God exists and I don't believe in if anymore. Am I a butterfly who dreams he's a man or a man who's being sarcastic? You are a moth who dreams of being a ghost. I'm sorry I did not want to break this to you so suddenly but you forced my hand. I give up. What is it? I'm in love. Yeah, cool with who? You know him as Penfeld. You're in love with a duck? Yes, I admire his quick mind, his glossy feathers, and his snazzy hat. Have you told him about it? No, I am afraid to. If he rejects me, then I will self-combust from embarrassment. Wow, it's like a Lifetime movie directed by Salvador Dali. I would just like to reiterate for the record that if I find out he rejects me, I will explode. That is probably important info right there. It is possible. Take this note to him and tell me his response. I cannot take this sexual tension any longer. No problem, dude. <coughs> oh snap, I suddenly stopped caring. You are mean. Awesome, a robot. Just how do you do Andy Mazzo? I better get going. Alright, let's go. <coughs> let's get out of here. Well, not the right way. I think we gotta go to the left. To Vermilla's office. Who's that guy? That's the legendary Victorian science villain, Dr. Cat Cadius. Legendary Victorian what? Yeah, I collect them. I don't expect people like you to understand the ways of genius are beyond your Borgoise mentality. Did you ever read Dr. Faustus? No. Exactly, pal, exactly. I have his head too, but I keep it in the cellar since my mate accidentally varnished it and it got all fucked up.
I'm not gonna touch that dude's severed head. <coughs> I don't think we'd have that much to talk about, really. Plus, he looks kinda mean. What's that degree for? It's a degree in shut the fuck up and mind your own business. Yeah, that was pretty harsh, but if you mess with the bull, you're gonna get burnt. Kind of wish I'd went to college sometimes, but I failed the anxious exam when I passed out after the six Jagger bomb. I wonder how his sunglasses stay on if he has no ears. <coughs> Hold on. Man, that is one illegible document. I always thought you could tell how important documents are by how hard they are to read. And this one looks like it was written by a drunk with a spirograph. <coughs> hey, I bet you wish you had those... No? Whose head is that? Eh, just some accountant nobody. I only put it up because the eye patch makes it look menacing. I think that guy has enough on his mind without me messing with him. Hello? No use talking to him, he's got no vocal cords. Hey, what's in that box? Well, did you ever see the film Raiders of the Lost Ark? You mean... That's right, the original film stock. Oh. Hey, hands off, Pearl. It's a snazzy blue folder with Andy Mazza written on the front. That looks like it might be handy. Oh, we took it. Okay, good. It's a picture to a cat hanging from a branch with a forlorn expression. The caption underneath says, We all gotta go sometime. I don't really want a depressing motivational poster. I'd tell the cat to hang in there, but for some reason that seems like it'd be bad taste. Penfield is gruff, but he has a good heart. Also a really nifty hat, which counts for a lot. I like to keep our relationship a professional one for the time being. Penfield! Andy! What's going on with the case? Nothing, I told you. The only way you can appeal to something like this is if you spend every day of your life saving orphan nuns from wells. And even then you need a good lawyer. So I don't qualify? Oh, give me a fucking break. I read your whole file and the only complete selfless and good act it was the time you punched out Lester Maddox. And even then he was like 90 years old at the time, so even that's a bit, a bit iffy. He was still pretty wiry though. Weary? I mean he wasn't in his prime or whatever, but he'd still brain you with a pickaxe handle if you gave him half a chance. Are you okay? You seem a bit tense. I just mainlined an ounce of strike nine directly into my jugular vein to stay awake. How come you're not dead? I'm not? <laughs> Tell me about the judging process here. I'll break it down slowly for you since you're pretty dense. No offense, but Jesus Christ, you really are. First, your file gets put into a machine in the room of judgment. If it's not good enough and yours isn't, then you go straight to purgatory. <laughs> if by some incredibly likely freak chance you manage to get by this, your soul will be weighed on a giant scale. We then measure it against your PGI, or Potential Goodness Index. This is basically the largest possible amount of good you could have ever done in your life. So I have to rig, uh, get past both my file and the scale? Yeah, pretty much. How do I get out of here? Jump out a window, maybe. Who knows, dying might have a reversed effect here and bring you back to life in the real world. Really? Nah, I wouldn't say so. <coughs> I like your hat. Fuck you, my father gave me this hat. 
you don't like it, then you can go to the canteen and have a big steaming plate of dicks. I'm serious, I like it a lot. Really? Yeah, man, it's wearing, it's really distinguished looking. It's like wearing a big neon sign on your head that says pure class except more subtle. Thanks, Andy. It means a lot to me that you think that. No problem, man. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Wow, thanks a lot. <coughs> Take your filthy paws off of me, you damn dirty ape. Make it snappy, pal. I'm a busy man. Busy doing what? That's a good question. I like that. You call me on that. You got balls, kid. You're okay by me. Thanks. Just don't think we're simply buds now. I'm telling you for your own good. The V-Man can be feared and admired, but never taken for granted. He makes many friends, makes many enemies. That's little Sun Tzu for you. Free of charge. <laughs> Why are you prosecuting my case? I don't have to answer that, but I will. Because I don't obey the right rules. Body. My own clothes kid whooped me on go out for the big hitters, but they say I need up my clearance rate for this year. But why me? Nothing personal, I just picked your name out randomly. That's the life, baby. If you calculated the odds of all that, then wrote them in binary, then you'd get the entry code to the gates of hell. I only came up with that right this second, but I like it a lot. I'm going to put that in my letterhead. <coughs> nice office. Yeah, I don't sell for anything but the best, so everything in here was custom made to my exact specifications. You want to know why the walls are that color? That's not paint. Those are the dead skin cells of Vincent Van Gogh plastering my walls. Ew. Probably think that's excessive, but you know what? I just don't give a fuck. Did you play in, explain some stuff about the case to me? No, I sure as hell cannot, pal. I haven't even looked at your file yet. I'm just gonna do this shit on the fly as it comes to me. I'm unpredictable like that. One day I might drop everything and go skydiving over the fifth circle of hell, and the next I might just get drunk in my apartment and watch Mama's family while sobbing quietly to myself. <coughs> what can I do to persuade you to drop this case? Pay me a million death bucks and do all my casework. Isn't there another way I could persuade you? Possibly one based around picking up and combining different objects around this very building? Nope. Well, I'd better get going. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of this shit hole. Wait. What is this? Listen, pal, reading documents is for chumps, so why don't you keep those things out of my sight? What's this? You need to tell me because I don't read? Not that I can, I just have better things to do. It's from the robot in the room of judgment. It says, Dear Vanilla, eat a dick. Signed, robot. What man, give me that, I'll show him who eats a dick. Dear robot, go fuck yourself, blah blah blah, etc, etc, yada yada. How do you spell Archipatrix X? Eh, never mind there. <coughs> cool, I'll take that to him. But I haven't signed it. Why do you need to sign everything? You're Vinny Vermillo. Yeah, yeah, I am. Who does he think he's ordering me to sign things? I'm not gonna. In fact, I want you to make a point of how I didn't sign it. Will do, boss. That's your case file, your whole sorted, pointless little life in a neatly spaced 1130 page folder. Neat!
Oh, right, let's get out of here. <coughs> it's not my job to analyze files. Try using them with the machine in the corner. I think I better make some revisions to this thing first, you know, just in case. Okay. I never knew he felt this way about me. Man, I'm sorry. Don't worry, Andy, you didn't do anything wrong here. <sighs> Print F, goodbye world. His only reason for living gone, robot explodes spectacularly and way too expensive to show in the game. Poor robot still, they'll probably rebuild him by tomorrow. And in the meantime, I have his crowbar-like arm to serve as a helpful yet Poignant remembrance. Cool. I don't know what to do with this. No, it's not gonna work. Oh, I did something. I didn't read it though. Not sure how to make revisions to this. Hey! Nice, we did it. <coughs> we 
we got a blank file now. Well, I took all the bad stuff, but I should probably fill it up with some good shit too. All right, Let's try that. So, like what? Yeah, it's like one pixel. You gotta click, so it's kind of the. Really not sure what to do here. Okay, just need to find the right pixel. No idea what I should oh, maybe I'll do this. No. Man, I'm stumped here.
Maybe I fucked up by killing the robot. I don't know, but we're gonna have to. Oops. <clears throat> we're just gonna have to leave it there because I there's other games to play. All right, Meepo in Love. I like this one. Shut up! It's true. I swear it. Dear HQ, have check frequency of the pulse star H slash one zero 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 one nine two. Sounds like a nebloid star to me. Thanks, Meepo. Hi, Meepo. Check the figures, and yes, it's a nebloid star. We were expecting to see the one in this sector again. Thanks for the good obs again. Smiley face, HQ. Yesterday's communique, we saw a step up in our relationship, a higher level of int intimacy and trust. Drizzly, my suspicions have confirmed HQ has a crush on yours truly. I've just been in outer space too long. You always read too much into these things. Drizzly, me, and HQ have a long work re relationship. An addiction like emoticons to the discourse has to mean something. It's just a smiley face that doesn't signify anything. It signifies emotion, you prick. No wonder that you don't understand. Get, get out. Leave me alone. I was mean to him, but I'm in love. <coughs> I'm crashing. I'm not used to having emotions. No time to snack. Gotta make my report. I'll use my telescope to relax. Maybe I can find a new star. I can name it after HQ. I always forget how many of them there are. Sorry I called you prick usually my emotions are all ablaze, but you should have respect to my opinions. Oh my god, can you just forget about that? No, I can't forget about love, you prick. Get out, I'm filling a complaint form. I'm crashing, I'm not used to having emotions. I was mean to him, but I'm in love. It'll be weird to contact HQ again so too soon, though my intentions are benign. Regular checkups are paramount for an effective mission. Just this once I will grasp the nettle firmly or whatever. 
Oh no, oh no, what do I say? Give me a report about asteroids. I say a flirt? Open a, up a heart to heart discourse. There is I shoot HQ. Thank you a lot for your late, latest missive. It's given me a lot to think about. I'm still wrestling with the implications, but would enjoy going over them with you. P.S. I do not usually do this with other sentient life forms. Your op servant, Mevo. Mepo. Pew pew, that wasn't so hard. Now just sit back and wait for a response. Uh huh, I'm sure I check the comms again. Similar response, I fucked up, but I have absolutely no chance but to hurl myself through the air of luck, like Captain Scott, that I may no longer be a burden to the others. Don't eat anything, I'm a monster, maybe just the, this pickle, this world is so corrupt. Wait, was that somebody on the comm? Help, airlock, help, airlock, help, airlock. Airlock, 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 how long has it been? Five minutes? I can't stand it, I'm far too thin-skinned for the world in a world of romance. The only honorable option is to hurl myself vigorously through the airlock if we have one. Maybe I should check again. Maybe we're in an electric field that repels communications. Maybe the Earth was attacked. Vanity, thy name is Meepo. The end. Moppy returns! You are Moppy. Get the keys. This is Crocodile. Watch for Dark Moppy. Alright, let's get the keys. Avoid Crocodile. No. <coughs> oh my god, oh my god. Boy, I sure am exhausted. I should not be this tired at the end of the mission. I'm thinking of consulting a medical professional. Gotta get the key. There's something wrong. I spent all my vacation days on a trip to Portugal. I like to book some time to get away each year. It just breaks up the year. <coughs> no. I enjoy collecting the keys and would consider it to be socially productive labor. How else would people open doors? My brother has offered to let me stay at his place for a while. But I, I said to them, don't be ridiculous what I'm just do, going to keep doing what I'm doing and keep trying to collect the keys. The end. Alright, next game. Muscle Lord. Muscle Lord. Muscle Lord. Shh, shh. Ha ha ha, think you're gonna feed me, you crazy fool. Let's go pump up the muscles. Ha ha ha, hubris was my undoing. You're the new muscle lord of the Agriculture League. You won, congrats. That's, that's it. Let's speed through octopus decision. Big side, motherfucker. I'm friends with the octopus. Yeah, that's what happens if your friends do. You just stay in the octopus zone. And float around. Next. I'm against the octopus. Anti-octopus. He's controlled to see the fire of the octopus missile. Roger that. Die. Fuck octopus. Destroy all octopus. Too big for the gun, have to use other missions. No! Murder octopus. You haven't- you beat the mission? Not yet, I haven't. Wait, he's outside your jurisdiction. I have no jurisdiction. Great, I'm finally fishing my parody of Air Fortress 1987, that'll show them how to put it online. Ping response. Anti-Octopus, added by S Astute Gamer 97 on 1109-2013. Parody of Air Fortress 1987, soundtrack by Goblin. Ha ha ha. Air Fortress fan Tommy posted. Surprise face. Alright, town. This one's cool. It's very small.
don't know. This might be hard to see, but I think you just move around. I do like the music. Yeah, that's pretty much all you do. Now for the finale, Towns FM. This one's nice. Dear Thomas, goes well. Northwards, 32, chemtrails, Thomas Watch, XXO. Haha, I've got the little bitch begging for it. All beauty is transient. Better get to work. So how are you about finding the job? It's okay, I'm still trying to figure out a lot of stuff. Well, ask me if you have any questions. I've been doing this for years. Well, I mean, I'm still trying to figure out what I should be doing. The employee manual doesn't help at all. End of her, always end of her. All things are pos possible with courage. Nothing is real. Integrity. What is, it, what is integrity? You will be quizzed. Gas. Keep gas in prof proper safety protocols. Thoroughly spray all targets. Expect the best of yourself and others. Expecting nothing is the best. This. Thomas, and the other side is just filled with weapon specifications. Click the map to travel to your next, de next destination. Serve fuel by sticking to the major roads. Oh shit. Yeah, well, all you really need to do is know that you press space to spray gas. That's about it. Just remember to keep your mask on since this stuff gets into your lungs. Body starts creating a sort of tarp substance. What? Yeah, it's like a tar. Okay, this looks like the main nest. Mission complete. Oh, Jesus. Hold X to secrete tar. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's, it's setting. Chemtrail Vendetta. 20XX. This is Chemtrail Living. Strange planes hover over every city. All crops have been sprayed with the chemtrail formula. Estimated 99% of general population exposed to chemtrails. A woman is at home. Three figures break in and spray her with this gas. She curls into a ball and dies three days later. Doctors pronounce death mysterious. The chemtrail syndicate grows bolder. <laughs> Boom. And so I begin my dreadful mission. The mission to the source of the chemtrail contagion. Let's go. I have sent my letters and feel no regrets. My body is a weapon against the chemtrail's conspiracy. What is Thomas doing now? Tap the screen to begin. City. Welcome back, Strangle Fan 90. You have three active strangle units. You have eight resting strangle units. You have 35 female corpses. You have received a new personal message. Active stranglers, top to view status, 10 wood, 5 stone, 35 corpse, one new message. Max top tip, female corpses are used to improve infrastructures and construct u new unit types. Deploy strangler units to collect female corpses. From strangler 97, I strangler, where are you? I strangle you. Strangler is depressed, buy rubber victims to ease depression. Strangler is strangling woman, way to go, gain achievement, long way to the top. Strangler stares silently at the screen. Tap tap. I enjoy playing video games. That sounds weird to say, but I like the discipline of it, I guess. I like getting up every morning knowing what I got to do. I have feeling that I have a purpose. <coughs> 136. I'm tired. What do you know about chemtrails? I bet you never thought about why this goes on. Too busy indulging in your hedonistic pursuits. But really, why would anyone seek to spray this stuff covertly on so much of the population? Is it a toxin, a means of control? Have they really been linked to the IMF? Your guess is as good as mine, folks. Believe me, 
Chemtrails are a fact of life, and you can fucking look them up in any book. You can't turn away. Folks, I need you to listen. Every night I dream about this gas. Well, I finally made it. Haha, <laughs> it seems like just yesterday that I had no hope at all. But now I'm okay. I still sh shit that tar stuff though. Confrontation. The goal of the game is to strangle all the women. The end. Well, thanks for watching. I... Well, my favorite game was probably this last one. I really enjoyed it, especially with the strangling. Um, I did enjoy Escape from Death Mountain, but it's a shame we couldn't fin finish it. Um, yeah, probably favorite game would be Towns FM, this one. And second favorite, probably Escape from Death Mountain, so. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the Catamite site in the description, and be sure to check out my other videos for uh, you can win free Applebee's coupons if you like all my videos you'll be entered in a, in a in a drawing because um yeah okay thanks for watching I'm trying to be funny that's like the let's players these days they try to be funny with the comedy and I, I'm just trying to do it that's I don't even know <sighs> what do you want for me what do you want for me what do you fucking want for me